Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today's portion of the vlog is gonna be like one minute because I just wanna show you guys the stuff that we got at Emirates. So, we have this. Yes, and remember you uh, pretended it was lip gloss. Yes. It's Arendelle Off-White. But Wendy and I are gonna try this. And then we also got some goodies here. So we got key lime pie, cheesecake, the Mickey, and this one is, is this key lime pie? Key lime pie, and then I got my brownie like normal. But, oh my gosh. What is going on over there? That's scary. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, taste it. Is it good? Champagne. Dry? Champagne. No, it's good. It's good? It's better with the peach. It's just normal champagne. Kind of tastes like blueberry-ish. Cotton candy-esque. It's good. Okay, let's dig it. Alright. Blueberry cotton candy-ish. Uh-huh. That's what I describe it as. Okay guys, I was just about to take a shower and everything, but I got a little package. I bought some fake Cartier. I ended up buying um, the wrong size like bracelet and ring, so I had to like return it and everything. But hopefully this fits me. So it comes in this fake red box that actually kind of looks legit. I mean, like look at that. Oh my gosh, it still kind of doesn't fit. That's embarrassing. Well, I guess I'll just wear it on this finger because I don't want to have to like return this again. So I'll just wear it on my ring finger, but not obviously the left one. And then I got the Cartier Love bracelet in this box. Ooh, it's so pretty. Ooh, and it looks like the right size. I'm happy with it. It looks very good quality. So I got the silver because I didn't want it to like have the gold or rose gold like wash off so i think this is absolutely perfect the ring is all of this stuff is good quality it's just like i have really fat fingers this vlog's already a mess because it started off at disney springs trying yeah. the drink and this is the second clip and then the third clip is having gonna be drink. when were you there having a drink oh the blue drink with wendy and charlie oh that was a while ago yeah look at the little screwdriver how cute i'm gonna actually have my mom help me put this on probably you see the ring so this is what the love bracelet looks like on. I think it's so adorable. I got the size 17, it fits perfectly. Okay, so I was kind of rushing through that like unboxing thing, but we're gonna do mother's hair. And also I wanna say this is a really good quality fake love bracelet. But the thing is, it's missing a millimeter. So it's like too skinny. Um, but I like the design, the imprints of um, where the um, the circles are. The other one I had, it was like too big so I returned it. But I just want to say that it's a pretty good replica. It's just a millimeter off. Yes, I measured it because <laughs> I just wanted to see. That's the only like complaint also. The silver is like a little bit rounded on the top. Oh. You ready, Sherry? I am. We need to leave it on for 30 minutes. I checked it out. The developer. Yeah. And that. And this. So okay. take that off. Yeah. We have to take the little thing off your thing yeah. first. Toss that pink ring thing away. You don't need it. Of course, I guess we could figure that out because now you have to punch. Okay, can you get it twisted on? Yeah, I did it. Okay, it's good. Perfect. Then we're just going to squeeze it yeah. in here. I know we have to unscrew this top, but mm -hmm. I just want to shake it first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or even your RCB, or in your case, AB. Oh gosh. <laughs> so Sherry, what's on your mind? What are you thinking about? Oh, this coronavirus thing's on everybody's mind. Oh man. We got a skunk in the house. I haven't vlogged in forever. I've had more like themed videos go up. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's just because like my ideas are just more themed, I guess, these days. Okay. So. I was watching our cruise videos. I haven't really been watching those because you, so many are up and so, um, all of your <laughs> update, you know, your workout videos and things. Yes. I've been keeping track of those, but um, I watched the, the cruise ones and do it in the right order because I couldn't find, figure out how to find them. There's a playlist. Was there? I I'll link it down I below. Thought, I thought there probably was a playlist, but I didn't see it. Because you showed me how to get the playlist, but I didn't see it on the playlist options. So, 
I'll have to check that out so I can put it on a playlist to go when I'm driving for more than 15 minutes. They were pretty good. I still like the one where I won the $300. <laughs> That's your favorite? It is. <laughs> the first time we went to the pink bar. Yeah. That was a good one too. That one has like thousands of views. Does it? Should oh. I make you into a narwhal again? <laughs> sure. Narwhals, narwhals. So it's good you're able to work from home now because of the virus. I know. Unfortunately, I can't work from home. Honestly? Well, then again, you could work from home, but you don't have all the stuff here. Right. If I was hooked up, there are people who do my job that are already working at home, but I right. don't. I've never signed up to do work at home, so I go into the office. So, so do are they going to close down your? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we're a call center. People are still calling to make reservations for this fall. <laughs> oh, okay. Next, next winter. Oh, so that's probably why they haven't closed. Yeah. It. So right now, though, it's just all pretty much um, canceling reservations. <laughs> For the next that's so sad for the next couple months i know that's hurting our economy it is Florida's. it is and i'm gonna have to go on tonight and cancel our reservation too oh we're impacted by this but with sherry our reservations. why why um well, so if you can go on and cancel your own reservations why can't these people just go online and cancel their own um because if they have either banked in points or borrowed points, they're afraid they're not gonna go where they're supposed to go. Oh, so they wanna to talk to somebody. Yeah, so they wanna to talk to somebody to make sure Can it's done. Can you like lean your head? Yeah, make sure it's done See, right. See, your, your neck flexibility is terrible. It is terrible, I know, it's always been terrible. Oh, really? Yeah, I've never been able to like turn while I'm driving very well. So it, it, your, your head is like stuck in one place? Well, I have more flexibility going the other direction. <laughs> it's this direction and I don't have much flexibility. I'm like, wow. I know. I feel like my ear is like on my shoulder, but I know it's not. <laughs> it's not even close. Most people have questions about their tickets. You know, if they have a dining plan, they want to make sure they get a refund on their dining plan. So, you know, they, there are a lot of other things they might need to do that they want help with. So, but it'll calm down eventually. Eventually everybody's reservation will be canceled and people will be calling. Do you think this is going to end anytime soon? I have no idea. I thought, I mean, this is bad, but I was like, it's not like I was making light of it, but I kind of was. Yeah. Just because, you know. I think before things. Disney closed, I didn't take it all that seriously. Yeah, I know. I, mean, I took it seriously that I didn't want to get it. Not necessarily that I was afraid of catching the flu. Right, right. I am, I'm concerned about catching it and passing it on to somebody who might pass it on to somebody else who has, um, you know, a deficient immune system or somebody who's super old. You know, because we do go see people in nursing homes, and if, you know, if we go there and somebody dies because we've been there and I we give them the virus, I feel terrible. I know. So, that would be awful. I know. So that's that's been my major concern, is just passing it on to someone else. And, you know, since I did work in a park two days a week, hopefully uh, that will open back up, but... You know, you're exposed to a lot of people mm -hmm. when you're working in a theme park, so. That's true. We'll see. We'll you see know how many, like, conventions and stuff? Oh, I know. I can't imagine canceled. the, you know, for the tourism trade. Tra travel and tourism is going to take a big hit. And that. restaurants. Yeah. It's already expensive to eat out. It's just going to get more expensive. Yeah, anything that's like a leisure activity. I know. The grocery stores, however. However, that's correct. <laughs> they're raking it Publix in. Publix must be raking in the dough. I can't believe how many people are like hoarding like toilet paper. I was going to say, what, what's your opinion on that? Well, I think it's crazy. It's also crazy that they're really stocking up on things like bread and milk and eggs because all those things could go bad. We don't know how long this could last. Exactly. So if you They're going to eat stale bread. Buy, I know. If you buy bread that's only going to be good for the next week because you had the, you're hoarding it off the shelf, then, you know, if anything happens, I mean, I really think that you know, we bought a bunch of frozen foods, which will last longer, unless, of course, electricity goes out, but I don't, don't think it will, knock on wood. Well, that sort of thing, I mean, electricity doesn't get infected by viruses. No, but if people who are running the oh yeah that's true. power plants or whatever, if everybody is sick and nobody comes into work, I don't know if there's a problem, I don't know what happens. Can you, like, put your head forward? Forward, okay. Yeah, that's barely forward. It is forward. It's okay. Yeah, there you go, there okay. you go. I have to lean my whole body, evidently. Yeah, you do. 
Your neck flexibility. I'm telling you, she. I know, it's not very good. No. It really, it never has been. Well, I've only noticed, like, ever since I started doing your roots. Yeah. But see, Bonnie, she could just, like, raise you up and down. Right. She can raise the chair up. Uh-huh. So you don't have to, like, move your head, like. Yeah, but this is kind of crazy. But honestly, I was tweeting this. Mm -hmm. I don't mind being in quarantine. I love staying home. <laughs> If I, like, could stay home all the time, like, I kind of would. Valerie was saying, because we were talking about shopping, and she's like, oh, I love going into Lowe's and mm -hmm. Home Depot or whatever, like, these stores. And, um, all right, I'm going to just do your other side now. Okay. You and Valerie are totally opposite. Oh, okay. <laughs> You and Valerie are totally opposite. She hates to be home. I know. And I love to be home. Like, it's something that I just genuinely love. She's like, your type of store, well, you don't really like going out. You just want it delivered. I'm like, yep, kind of. Except for like Cartier, Tiffany's, you know, Louis Vuitton. Those stores, I would gladly. Yeah, they're not going to deliver and they don't have a drive-thru. Hey, they do deliver. I ordered my bag. Well, that's true. I ordered you ordered it online, they would yeah. deliver. That's true. Oh, I got it on myself. Hmm. Okay. Um, so, yeah, but other than that, I do not really like going out of the house. I would stay in. Only, I love going out to eat. That's one thing I love, too. Yeah. And, like, go to different bars. Are bars shut here? Or shut down here? Not here. No. Um, but I, I don't know if, other places, if Florida right? will follow in Ohio's footsteps. Remember that one time, I, I'm changing the subject, but you remember that one time, um, we did your hair only... The dye didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And it still looked the exact same. I know. That was confusing. It must have been an old box of dye or something. Wait, what were you going to say that? I was going to say that, you know, Ohio has, you know, that you can't have the restaurant open. You can't have sit-down restaurant open. So you can't have, like, a dining room open. Yeah. But you can have delivery and drive through and Yeah, because it's not like... like it's not a lot of people because right. you're just like coming right. and leaving. If, you, if they have a drive through window, you can just stay in the car. Yeah, and hand them the bag, but like not touch their hand. Yeah. So um, Well, their money, though. You have to touch money. the handling. You know money what? Handling. When I went to Ulta, everybody yeah. working the register had on gloves. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's a good precaution. Yeah. I guess if you wear gloves, then like. They all had gloves on, and when I drove past Payway, they were closed. Payway doesn't have a drive through but they have oh, carry out, they have so carry -out. I don't they know why. Afford. Well, maybe a lot of people don't use that service. Like, maybe a lot yeah, of people maybe. don't do carry out. But maybe they would do carry out now. Yeah. Or maybe they just want to give their workers, I don't know, opportunity to stay home. They're just concerned about all of them. I don't know. I heard that some Disney employees like have to um, still go into work, kind of like Universal. They have to like mm -hmm. go in and clean or whatever. Yeah. What do you feel about that? Um, yeah, I, I don't. I think if they're in the category that is a theme park thing, yeah, they should stay. They home. should be able to stay home. I know. I understand, I don't really understand under not having the crowds there. Um, but I don't get why they should still come into work when they're not doing anything. Well, you know. I mean, I guess deep cleaning is a good thing. I guess it could be deep cleaning and painting. But I, saw, I saw somebody on Facebook that I know who is a tour guide, and it said she had to report into work tomorrow. Yeah. So I don't so know what, is she, don't what know are they she's going to be doing. I don't know. Oh. I'll find out on Facebook. That's where I find out all of my information. That's where I found out this morning that the resorts were going to be closing. Now, why did they make that call? Because they were going to be open, and Disney Springs was going to be open, too. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I guess just making sure everything is sanitized is going to be hard. Right. Um, it would still be... I mean, if just Disney Springs is open, then everybody's eating in either the r restaurants at the resort or the restaurant at Disney Springs. Oh, yeah. So... Wait, so are... You're still going to have a lot of people in restaurants congregating and you know i don't know so are they, they are it, closing disney springs too right? yeah oh my gosh that's so sad well, all of the places that are owned by disney so there are some all third places. third party people there and they can decide on so their like own. halio right they can all decide on their own what they want to do oh but so all of the disney, disney owned. owned and operated locations at disney springs will be closed got it got it the thing that i think would make economic sense closing mm -hmm. the resorts is that if you don't have that many people there, then why keep them open? 
you well, know, if you only have... You're taking a money loss. Right, if you have less than half of the resort open, but you have to keep it open because you have those, the you guests. know, 25 rooms have guests in them. Yeah. And you have to keep staff on to yeah. service those people. Maybe it's just better to close them. Yeah. If air travel mm -hmm. is stopped in the next few days, how would people get home that flew Oh, here? yeah, that's really awkward. So if they... They're going to be stuck. Right. So if they... They're closing on the 20th, which is, what's the date today? The 20th is Friday. Right. So they're closing on Friday. So people have like all week to get their arrangements in order to get back home. So do you think people have a right to be like mad about their vacations being canceled? I think people have a right to be disappointed. All right. I don't, and they can be mad at the coronavirus. That's true. But however... When you think about how much money Disney is, mm -hmm. I mean, let's just say some families have to save a lot of money. Yes. I mean, this should be, I mean, I'm not saying like, oh, Disney should be cheaper, but this should be a time where Disney also reflects that people like, I mean, I don't know. Well, the thing is, if. If they don't close and somebody gets a coronavirus from coming there after all the warnings, yeah, and somebody sues Disney, and then there's you know ten cases with people suing no one Disney, will want to go to and Disney. then a hundred cases with people suing Disney, yep, it's probably not a good idea. Yeah, and if they're true. trying to help stop the spread, mm -hmm. stopping the gatherings of a lot of people mm -hmm. will help stop the spread of the virus. Yep, I do so, agree, Sherry. I think that um, I think right. people certainly have a right to be disappointed. I'm disappointed we can't go. Right. Um, I guess this we, is all like near Sherry's birthday too. It is my birthday weekend. I'm, perhaps we'll be quarantined. I'll probably be working overtime on Saturday on my birthday. She's been getting a lot of overtime though. That's I have positive. Been, on, yeah, you know, on the bright side, I'm getting a lot of overtime. We've got 11 hours in already, and my week hasn't really started yet. It doesn't start to tomorrow. So I think that. For vacation club members, mm -hmm. it's not as much, I mean, it's bad and it's sad and a lot of people have sad stories about, you know, why they were coming and now they have to cancel and some are, you know, losing part of their, what they have paid for the resorts. Mm -hmm. um, but for vacation club members, they have their vacation club, they're going to be coming back. Vacation right. club is meant for people to come back year after year, decade after decade. Hey, hello, please. So they're going to be back. The people I feel most sorry for are people who are not vacation club members mm -hmm. who have saved money for, you know, three, four, five years. I mean, a while ago, I remember going to a seminar and the, at Disney and they were saying that an average family of four saves for three to five years for a trip to Disney for a week. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody's been saving that long and they've been looking forward to it. And now it has to be canceled. It takes a lot to save all that time to get your rides and your dining reservations and your fast passes and everything. Then to just have it all be canceled on you mm -hmm. kind of at the last minute is a is terrible. But, you know, that's... Can't do anything about it, but it's, it's sad. And I understand being upset. I don't understand being all that angry because there's no one to be angry at. Coronavirus. Just the coronavirus. <laughs>